So, yesterday was a very busy day for me. I spent the entire afternoon having some diagnostic imaging done. Um, I know, yes, I already have a diagnosis, but I guess this imaging will like help us figure some things out. I guess maybe really more so like um, if the treatment plan that I already have um, of chemo, then surgery, if that's still the plan we're going to go with. Um, so, yeah, it was a very exhausting day. Um, I first had a 3D mammogram, which I was so scared of. And I actually called my doctor beforehand. And I'm like, look, is this necessary? Like, can we just go with, you know, MRI and our pathology from the biopsy and skip the mammo? Because I really didn't want to have my breast squeezed um and I really had uh this fear like I mean it's a tumor like why would you want to squeeze that just why would you want to do that um so she was really telling me like you know don't worry about it you know oh sorry no what she told me she said you know we're just going to uh lightly compress I'll let them know don't do a full compression um, because, you know, that may be a little tender for you, so let's go with that. So I'm like, cool. Um, the actual mammogram itself maybe took like 10 or 15 minutes. It was a breeze. It was a breeze and it was painless. Um, so I was just really glad about that. Um, they did a few different angles and everything. And um, how they actually did this, this particular tech... She let the machine like come down to a certain point and it was like barely no compression at all. Then she came and she manually like adjusted a knob that was on the side that did give it a squeeze. Um, as she told me, she warned me like, no, you just feel pressure, but you won't feel pain. And that's exactly what it was. It was like painless. So kudos for that. That went awesome. Then straight from there, I went to go have the breast MRI. Now the breast MRI, I wanna say, if you ever have to get one done, schedule 40 to 50 minutes of time for yourself. Because once I was actually called back, you know, I had to like change into the um, hospital gear, their gown, or actually I was given two gowns, so their gowns, and um, also a pair of like scrub pants or whatever, and um, so I had to get changed. Then from there, I went to go get an I like the needle inserted for IV, which um, during the procedure they inject. I'm sorry, I don't know exactly what it's called, but they inject something for um, contrast in the images. So, whew, um, all of that part of getting you know undressed and getting into their stuff, and then also getting like the IV thing done. Um, Oh, and they also, they pricked my um, finger, fingertip, to test to make sure that my kidneys could flush whatever they were injecting me with, um, to make sure, like, my kidneys were good, I could handle it, I guess. Um, so we did all of that, and that whole part, the undressing and getting prepped and stuff, I would say maybe 10 to 15 minutes, then the actual MRI itself was... From what the tech told me before we began, he said it would be about 20, I think he told me about 20, 25 minutes. Um, of course, once you get inside of the chamber, like you're not checking time to see actually what it was. But I, it didn't feel like 20 minutes to me. It went, that went by pretty fast, but it seemed as though. But what I would like to say is that breast MRI was very uncomfortable. Um, I already have, I don't really have back issues per se, um, but I was in a horrible rear end collision. Someone rear ended me, um, several years ago and I actually, um, I was seeing a chiropractor like three times a week for many months and I remember like when I left him, he could, oh, let me let you know, initially I was like, I could barely freaking walk um, after that accident. And so after seeing the chiropractor all of that time, at the very end, 
he was kind of like, well, you know what? Some people never get back to 100. At the time, I was like 26, maybe 27 years old. I just remember crying because I'm like, Jesus, I'm going to be crippled like for the rest of my life over this floozy freaking rear end of me. Like, this is crazy. But um, I say that to say just over the years since that time, like I've never had experienced back pain like I did from the initial onset when I had that accident. But every now and then, like my back will hurt, like maybe if I sleep in an odd position or something like that, or um, like when I was doing like part-time work, retail work, like initial weeks, like my back would be hurting from like just the just standing or walking for long periods of time. Um, like, you know, if you work part-time retail, like you're standing on concrete floor for like four hours out of a day. And that had a toll on my back, um, lower back. So I say all that to say every now and then I do have a little bit of pain in my back, but like I could usually stretch it out and I'm cool. Well, the position that I'm that you're in on that MRI is weird because it's like your your legs are sort of your legs are flat, but then like your back is sort of hunched a little bit, and your sternum is like right there, like on this hard piece, and then your breasts are hanging down into these cups. So if you you know, of course you're horizontal, and your breasts are hanging down in the cup. Your face is you know in this little thing. Um, it's a hole, so you know your face is kind of just sticking in there, and the sternum that hurt. Um, my back, the way my back was, it was like I said, it was weird. The tech that um, actually, you know, set me up and everything, and he did the MRI. He tried his best to, I guess, provide me a little comfort because I told him it felt awkward, and he like put a um, put like a pillow or whatever underneath my legs. Like, he told me to bend my knees, so, like, under my shin, the shin area of my legs. He put a pillow under that, and, um, like, for the face part, he did, like, give me, he rolled up, like, a towel a little extra, like, did, I guess, give me a little more comfort there. Um, and I'm grateful for that, but those comfort techniques really did not work. I just remember, like, as soon, like, as they were, as... Well, I guess it's kind of like electronic. But like as soon as I was like going into the chamber, I'm just like, this is some crap. Because my back is killing me. My freaking uh, breastbone is killing me. And I have to lay still for 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes. Like, no way. But as you can see, I made it through it. I'm here. What can I say? Um... I'm looking down because, like I promised last time, I was going to write, jot down stuff. So, like, I didn't take up 20 minutes of y'all time. And I feel like I'm still a little long with it. But I'm trying, y'all. It's a process. Um, so, yeah. Basically, that's what I did, y'all. Mammograms. Do not be afraid of them. They do not hurt. Or I will say my experience is that mammograms do not hurt. Um, if you need a mammogram, please don't fear, um, especially if they do that technique where they don't just let a machine go and, you know, they just kind of like let the machine go down a little bit, then they just crank it a little bit, you'll be good. I, I think you'll be good. Um, don't be afraid of them. That's especially to all the women that need to um, get screenings, like, you know, maybe if you have a family history or if you're at that age, I don't know if it's 45 or 50 now, but if you're at that age where they recommend yearly um, annual screenings, don't be afraid. It's painless. When you leave there, you're not in pain. While you're there getting the procedure, you're not in pain. Don't be afraid. Please take care of that. Um, and the MRI, my experience, uncomfortable, very uncomfortable. Um, but obviously necessary. So, um, that was about it. Oh, one other thing on the MRI. So midway through, he, cause I guess he was like in this little, they have this, I want to say an observation room. I don't know what it was, 
But um, of course, I was in the MRI room alone, and then like all the techs were like in this observation room or whatnot. So midway through, I'm guessing it was midway, um, he came like into my head. You have headphones on your ears, so he came into the headphones, uh, the tech, and he's just like, you know, we got about ten more minutes, so you're all right. And like, yeah, and he's like, well, now comes the IV part. We're going to, um, you know, in inject you for the contrast imaging, what have you. Um, that thing, like, when the injection, it sounded like, if I could give the sound, uh, like, if I, if I could paint a picture of the sound for you all, it sounded like if you had micro beads, like, micro metal beads going through a small tube, like, rushing through a small tube, is what it sounded like for me. And then later when I was thinking about it, I'm like, did I give, did I make up a sound? Did I maybe really only just maybe feel this and I made up a sound? I don't know. But, but it did. He also said I might get a cooling sensation. And I did, like I actually felt it like kind of in my mouth, like around this area, like my tongue. And then I was, I don't know, I just started thinking all sorts of weird things like, I, I can't say the my biggest thought like towards the end of it while I kept still feeling stuff coursing through me was that I was just annoyed you know I was just like really annoyed um but by this whole thing by the whole diagnosis and everything so <sighs> but that's all over next week I go sit back down with the medical oncologist and um We'll, I guess, talk about what's going to go on from here now that we have the pathology, now that we have the imaging, now that we have everything. Now we have like a little more of a cohesive picture and we're going to go from there with treatment. So I'll keep you guys posted. Hope that this was another 20 minute video. Bye.